Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the Final Cut. And yes, today we're looking at an independent film called Krampus, the Christmas Devil. Yes, based off of a folklore that is actually true about Krampus, who's the brother of Santa Claus. And while Santa Claus is, uh, you know, he's happy, he, he jolly old Saint Nick, rewards the good boys and girls with presents and candies and puppies and oh my, Krampus rewards all the really, really bad kids by shoving them in a burlap sack, beating them up, and throwing them in an icy lake or some other uh, vicious thing, <laughs> trapping them in a box, in a cave, you name it, he takes care of the really naughty kids who have stayed naughty throughout the year. Well, we get the story here of Jeremy Duffin, who's one of the kids who actually escaped Krampus when Krampus tried to kidnap him, and he makes it his mission as he grows up to be a detective to try to capture the guy who originally abducted him many moons ago. <laughs> Let me tell you about Krampus the Christmas Devil. I love the concept and the story of this film. Uh, it's great to see people take a holiday and spin it on his heels, okay? You know, you've gotten your Silent Night, Deadly Night and that, but this is great that it takes some uh, folklore and tries to play it with a little bit of modern spin, and I liked, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, first off, the character of Krampus they build is, is in this dingy, dark gray type of Santa outfit, very scary face you barely see. Uh, just as a great character and, and really really spooky. Uh, so I really liked how they portray, portray Krampus in here. And you also get Santa in here as well. He's played by Paul Firm. And I love the uh, uh, Santa character in this and how he handles Krampus and how jolly old Saint Nick isn't exactly jolly either, but he's a lot better than, than his brother. So really love the portrayal of Santa in here. Now Jeremy Duffin, uh, played by A.J. Leslie, does a good job as well as that guy who's tormented by this experience and really wants to capture this guy. Uh, look for uh, Bill Oberist Jr., probably one of the hardest working individuals in the independent cinema, playing Brian Hatt, this really uh, nasty bad guy. Oh, Man, his performance is top-notch in this film and really adds an extra level when his appearance comes into the film. Now, the story itself, I really enjoyed the concept of dealing with Krampus, the, the guy who abducts the bad kids, and I really liked a couple of twists they had in here, especially involving uh, uh, Jeremy Duffin's uh, family. I really liked some of the twists in here. The, but, and the special effects in here are really well done. Uh, there is not a whole lot of gore, but what gore is in here, and there's even a little a TNA in there, so you get a little bit of everything. All of the horror elements that you look for in a, uh, a horror film like this, you do get. I did like the twist, though. The only uh, problem, though, uh, what I was getting at is um, there were a couple things with the characters, mainly with the main character, his motivation that I didn't uh, quite get, okay? Uh, one of them was, oh, he just had this really th thing happen, I don't want to spoil it for you, but uh, after he gets kind of cleaned up from having that event happen, rather than going right back out or, or you know, being part of this investigation, he, he goes to the bar. Uh, so, you know, uh, there were just a few moments like that in the script that kind of made me go, wait, he's, they're doing this? When they, you know, natural, it felt like they should have been doing something else. So, outside of those bits in the script, I did enjoy the twists that they came up with. I enjoyed the couple of different storylines they had going on. And the character of Krampus is definitely a memorable one. So, if you can catch it at the festival season, I'll put a link down below to their uh, website. Check out Krampus. Krampus, the Christmas Devil. Wow, say that three times fast. It's definitely an interesting horror tale, and it's always fun to see a Christmas horror movie, and this definitely should be on your list of things to watch this holiday season. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.